It's Friday, November 29th, 2013. Welcome to CBS This Morning. Some wild scenes at Black Friday sales. Police opened fire outside one store while shoppers across the country rushed to score the best deals. Plus, only two days left for the White House to fulfill its promise to fix healthcare.gov. China launches fighter jets, raising the stakes over its new air defense zone. And a cosmic cliffhanger. Did part of a five million year old comet survive its scorching date with the sun? But we begin this morning with a look at today's eye opener, your world in 90 seconds. Friday frenzy turns to retail rage. Shopping turned violent in Chicago. Police shot a man suspected of shoplifting at Kohl's. Especially bad at a store down in Florida. Bargain hunters there nearly coming to blows. China has sent fighter jets to patrol airspace after the U.S., Japan, and South Korea flew military aircraft over the area. A gas line explosion sent flames shooting into the air in Missouri, and so far, no injuries have been reported. The comet once billed as the best of the century met its match. Ison may have been destroyed while passing close to the sun. Never seen this before, and... We have no idea when we're going to see something as amazing as this again. The clock is ticking to this weekend's deadline to fix the Obamacare website. It's just been wrong from the beginning. They can't organize a two-car funeral. Is that uh, looking at the glass half full or half empty? <laughs> Surveillance video of what is believed to be one of the biggest jewelry heists ever. It happened in Cannes, France back in July. Part of the Olympic torch, the flame falls and gets the torch bearer on the arm and the guy catches on fire. All that? Kobe Jones! Gets Belize taken down. Tomlin is essentially on the field here. Congratulations on the win. Yeah, it looks like you're enjoying that. Yeah, I'm almost finished. He's enjoying it. Is it good? It is really good. And all that matters. As much a Thanksgiving tradition as the turkey. <laughs> We're talking about Black Friday shopping. Three years first in line. Yes. Um, why? We just love bargains on CBS this morning. Best Buy is encouraging customers to post six second vines of their Black Friday experience. Best Buy calls it a fun promotion while police are calling it evidence. <laughs> Very interesting. Uh... This morning's eye opener is presented by Toyota. Let's go places. Welcome to CBS This Morning. I'm Jeff Lohr with Nita Nair. Good morning to you. Black Friday is upon yes, us. Yes, happy post-Thanksgiving morning, Black Friday. Charlie Rose, Nora O'Donnell are off today. Black Friday deals are drawing millions of shoppers out this morning. The rush has brought some trouble, including a police shooting at a Kohl's in suburban Chicago. Police say a shoplifter jumped into a car and dragged an officer trying to stop him. Another officer was wounded. Wounded the suspect, I should say. Most stores are just seeing huge crowds full of excited shoppers. And Elaine Kihana was inside a Target store in Hackensack, New Jersey. Elaine, we just saw some footage of all those people flooding inside. I'm sure it's very busy where you are this morning.